Hi, I'm Jenny, and today I'm going to be doing a 500 piece puzzle. Uh, this one's called Infinite Bloom by Gallison. Um, if you're interested in doing it too, I've linked to it below, so check that out. Um, I'm kind of excited because it looks tricky. It's got different colors in all different parts of it, so it's not like I can just scooch one color to one side. And I also like it because it's square. Um, I'm also going to be trying out something else new today. I bought this La Vie Vert puzzle mat. Um, usually I just do puzzles right on the kitchen table, but um, I'm running out of room and people in my house tell me that I'm taking up too much space and they need to use it too. So we'll see. The added benefit of this thing is it has lines for different size puzzles so you can kind of line up your edges. We'll see if I like it. If you're interested in trying it too, there's also a link below. All right, let's get puzzling. So we're done. Um, I'm really excited I finished this puzzle. It was pretty tricky. Um, usually I like to make things harder on myself by not using the map at all, but I could not do that for this puzzle. Um, my first strategy was find all the prominent colors, so I got all the different red pieces since those are the biggest flowers, but pretty soon after that, for every piece I picked up, I had to look at it on the map first and then put it in place. Um, that's just not my style, but I know there's a lot of you who really enjoy the process of comparing something against a picture. So if that's you, this is your puzzle. For me personally, I'd rank it at a 3.9 out of 5 because I kind of find that process of having to look at the map for every single piece a bit tedious. But the overall quality of the puzzle pieces here is good. Um, it has a nice snap. There was no puzzle sawdust. Um, all the pieces are two in, two outs. Um, but there was a fair amount of variability among that shape as far as like thickness um, and angles. So I found that kind of nice. Um, anyway, let me know in the comments, are you somebody who loves the map or likes to hide it? Um, also, tell me what kind of puzzle I should do next. <laughs>